Welcome to Francis Quilts, the site dedicated to the wonderful art of quilting, with a few other fun things thrown in as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Francis Quilts. Today I'm so excited that I get to show you a finished project and this is a special one. I have been for the last few months working through Angela Walters' uh, free motion quilting challenge called Fabulous Feathers. Now when I started this challenge, I could not quilt a feather for anything. One side would be beautiful and would look magnificent and the other side would just they'd go all different directions and believe me, the bird with that feather would not have been able to fly. So I was really concerned about this challenge thinking that it was going to be just too hard to do. But Angela, in her wonderful way, just relaxed me and taught me how to make the feathers in different types of feathers and, and ways to solve my problems when I was having problems. And as time went on, I became much more confident with quilting these feathers. And I'm so excited to show you today. So let's head over to the quilt and I'll give you a deep dive into the world of feather quilting. We started out in this center section of the quilt, uh, just doing a couple of different types of feathers. The first one was this right here, which is called a simple feather. Uh, the idea here is that you come up and you are just doing a loop and then another loop and then another loop and then another loop. There's no backtracking or anything like that. The second type of feather that we did is called a bump back feather or she calls it a custom feather. And in doing it, you start at the bottom and you do your, your, uh, you do your first loop this way and then you bump back to here and then you do your second loop. Then you come over here and hit that feather bump back and then do the next loop. I actually found that one to be a little bit easier once I got the hang of it. Then we moved over and did uh, some feathers that were a little bit different with hooks on the ends and I actually found those fun to do and easy to do. I need to remember that as a, a possible uh, thing to do when I'm quilting. Um, and then in the center, I think I didn't do this the way she had done it, but I just added some little feathers in there and then added a little bit of um, um, uh, ruler quilting, dot to dot ruler quilting. The next thing that we did was my least favorite and it was the feather meander. Um, some of them look all right. There, there are places here that it looks great and then there are places that I just really lost the plot as I was sewing and don't have a clue exactly what happened. Uh, but again, it's not something I have to use. I can just skip that one and do other things. Next, we moved uh, to these corners and did some motif designs. Again, I'm not super happy with this just simply because I don't like all of the echoing in it. Uh, I need to practice this some more and learn how to do it a little bit better. Moving over to this other corner though, we did a little bit different kind of motif. Um, again, I don't particularly like what I did here, but I repeated this in some of the outside one, outside borders and I actually liked it a lot better. So I think maybe some of these are just a matter of practicing them a little bit more. Next, we came to my favorite feather, which is the long plume. Uh, this one, I made it big to fill the entire area because I didn't want to have to go back and do any filler designs on it. It just follows nicely around as the uh, as the, the edge moves there. It just goes around that corner beautifully and it comes down here and it makes a little dip down in here and then comes back to where it ends there. This was my absolute favorite thing to do because there was no echoing, there was no uh, filler design, there was nothing like that. On this, this feather, I ended up uh, making it smaller and having some filler designs in there. It took me a little while to figure out what filler design to use and I finally went with swirls and it looks fine but again I just don't see the point if I can fill it all in with one big feather I'm just gonna do that. Uh, this the next feather is another one that was a long plume but I did split it in half. I stopped when I got down to this corner when I got down to the diagonal of the corner right down here and then I started another feather and did it across like this. It was an easy way to fill in that corner. And I finished the quilt out by doing a feather that started out like a motif. So I had these little figure eight sort of feathers right in the corner and then quilted it out to one side. And then came back here. 
and quilted it down the other way. So there is my feather quilt. I am super, super happy with what I've learned with it, and I think it looks great. Wow, didn't that quilt turn out great? I am so thankful for Angela presenting this, this challenge to me and, uh, and just had so much fun doing it. I highly encourage you to go and check out her YouTube channel and her website. Uh, you can do this challenge even without buying the panel. I bought the panel because I just love the colors and I wanted to try some of the threads and that sort of thing. But just go over and, and look at her videos. She is very encouraging and really helps you uh, to figure out how to, to conquer something that you might be scared to do. And on that note, if you want to take your free motion quilting to the next level, I would encourage you to check out my free motion uh, quilting course called Move It, a free motion quilting boot camp. It is a free 10 week course that you can sign up for and start at any time. I, I will leave the link in the show description and then I will also, um, it is on my blog and on my website at francisquilts.com. So go check it out and sign up for that. It'll give you an opportunity to try maybe 20, 22 different new patterns and just see what you like. Uh, I think it's a great, great program and a lot of people have enjoyed it. So go check it out. I think that's it for today. It's good to see you here and thanks for joining me. Remember, if you like what you've seen, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my website and daily blog at francisquilts.com and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram at Francis Quilts. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.